Freelance Duck Hunting. And the season is getting closer and closer with each and every day. So you are gonna join me today on my very first off-season scouting trip. Now, I recorded this a few months back. And uh, the reason I'm going out scouting today, actually I'll tell you, it's, it's still April. And um, I talked a lot about this on the podcast, the Duck Gun Podcast, where Jordan Frommer and I put out tons of talk. Check it out if you want, if you like podcasts. But the reason I'm going out scouting this early is that I've, I've got this spot that I've never, I've never hunted. And I've been keeping an eye on it. Last year, I kind of started figuring this spot out a little bit. And there was a bunch of great moist soil vegetation in this place, but the water levels were just too low. It was always, it was, it was dry. And so I've got in my notes exactly what level of water would be prime for this place. Um, it can go so low that you can't even get a boat into it. And it's like, you know, where it's just mud. And so right now we've had some rains and I believe that the water level should be perfect in here. So. I just want to go out and see for my notes what this place looks like at this current water level uh, type. And I'll talk more about that later, about how to monitor the water levels if you don't know how to do that. Um, there's a site that you can do that. So George and I are going out here. We're going to paddle back into this place. We're going to see what it looks like. There should still be ducks around. At the very least, there should still be teal around, but I imagine there's some big ducks too. So I have not really been in the marsh for a while now, a month or so, and so I'm really, really looking forward to just getting out and getting in the marsh. But those are Georgie some retrieves. So think, come on, join me here as you can see kind of how I go about off-season scouting. As I'm approaching, I'm already flushing tons of ducks out of this timber here, which this is not where I would have expected them to be. I can hear pintail whistles. I'm not back in the pool yet. So, so far, man, I couldn't have, no way I could have seen any more ducks. I wouldn't have expected than what I've seen so far, just coming out of this timber and stuff. It's driving a little G crazy. I can see some ducks. Oh, look at that. See? They're sitting in these timber shallows in here. certain when I come around this corner here that it's going to be loaded with ducks up in this section. This is about where the millet was. Oh, there are some, not as many around this corner as I thought, but... It's definitely a... I'm surprised that there's not exposed vegetation in here, which is this all great information for me in scouting. I would have expected, if you want me talking millet, I'm talking barnyard grass, wild millet. And I would have expected at this water depth to see exposed vegetation. Now the winter, oh. They're just coming out of these trees like mad. God walls, most of those. I'm not doing a great job of getting this on video because I'm trying to paddle and stuff, but I'm just kicking just loads of ducks out of these trees. Loads of ducks. Oh, I'm going to get up here for a second. And I'm just going to sit and watch and see kind of where they're flying and stuff good to be around birds I can tell you that here I wish I was getting a better video of the ducks that are just pouring out of these trees I just I should have a GoPro on my head it would be a lot better if I had but certainly there's tons of birds in here there's everywhere there's so many birds There are loads of birds back in here. I'm gonna go clear back in there and find out. There are a ton of birds in here.
Tell you, there's just birds flushing everywhere. At some point, I think that the vegetation is going to be exposed back in here, is my guess. I can already see a bunch of birds in there. I like this spot. This spot's cool. I like this is a neat spot in here. This would be fun to set up, wouldn't it? Cool spot. What I'm trying to do here is I just want to see what this place looks like under when the, the water level is at this height. I had down in my books that, in my notes, that this water level we're at right here, right now, would be ideal back in there. And I think it is. It could even be a foot, foot and a half less, and it would be just fine. This is about, well, this may be perfect because this is about a foot and a half back in here. And the water gets all the way back up in here. You can see these little holes in here. It'd be fun to hunt. Now, if you check USGS water data and put in the name of the complex that you're hunting, whether it's the river or whatever, USGS real-time water data, you can monitor the different water heights of the different um, water. And that's how I do it. So before I came out here, I checked USGS real-time waterfowl data. Saw that the... Um, what the water level amount was and I said hey I really want to see this place so that's why that's the kind of off-season scouting that I do is so now I know next season when the water is this high I know exactly how far back it reaches um, when I've done the later on I'll rescout this place in a couple months and see how the vegetation growth is hopefully this this water goes back down it's not flooding at all but hopefully the water goes back down and all this moisture here will get a really good growth of moist soil vegetation and it'll stay low and then rise back up before season. Um, that would be ideal. It almost happened this year where the, the growth in here was just fantastic, but we never got the water. It just never came. I was waiting and waiting and waiting and it never came. So had in November and December, had this area been at this water level now, I'd have been hunting this like crazy. Um, so I'm excited about this place. I would like to make this place one of my main places to hunt next year. It just has to have the right water levels. Scouting's all about just getting as much information as possible. Well, number one, it's just fun. It's fun to be out here seeing mallards, seeing mallards, teal, mostly mallards, teal, gadwall. Um, it, it's really, really fun to get out here and be around these ducks. But you're just gathering more and more information all the time about your places and that's just going to up your success rate you know if you know exactly what the best situations are for you when you're deciding to hunt and you don't have time to actively scout you sometimes i just have to hunt blind so next november or something we get some rain and i and i look and i know that the water levels are about what they are right now you can bet i'm going to be making this a priority so um, i'm going to i got a weird idea i think next weekend i'm gonna come out geez you thirsty or what jeez um, Fumbles and I are going to come out here, we're going to actually set up some decoys, and we're going to simulate a hunt, and, and I'm really looking forward to that hunt simulation, so, let me get back around and see, I want to see how far this water goes back, probably get on my waders and walk around a little bit too, that's the plan. Well, I'm back in here, I might as well throw some retrieves for Georgie, so I'm going to work on a double, I'm going to throw the first one over here, there goes the first one. And, good girl, Georgie. I'm gonna throw the second one over here, make sure she sees it. No, 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 sit, sit. Georgie. Good. Good girl, sit. Sit. Hand. Heel. Dead bird back. Good. Good dog. A few more for her, and then I'm gonna go and see if I can get a little bit of better footage of ducks flying. They're not coming back in this far. 
which I wish they were, because this would be awesome. They're, they're back this well. That's my little Scott for, trip for today. I want to thank all of you guys for being here. Hope that you're enjoying the content. Tell anybody about this spot if you know where it is, please. And let us know if you need anything. Contact us at any time. I'll see you guys later.